This cake frustrated me so much and I'm going to tell you all about why. So there was a couple of things. First of all, that wobble. Can you see how much that cake is wobbling? Like, that is just not helpful whenever you're making something that's gravity defying out of cake. So I really had to work against the wobble <laughs> to make sure that I could counteract the weight on the front of the cake and the back of the cake so he didn't slouch all the way forward or slouch all the way back. Whether you're a Harry Potter fan or not, I'm sure you're going to find this Dobby cake impressive. So the other thing that frustrated me about this cake is that hardly anyone seems to be able to see it. I've posted it on my TikTok and I've posted it on my Facebook and I'm just not getting any reach. I don't know whether or not there's something broken with the algorithm. Maybe the cake's just not good enough. Maybe people are bored of what I'm doing, but I'm kind of losing heart with the whole thing. So if you could interact with this post in any way, I'd be super grateful because the only way I can keep making cake art like this is if people are interacting with my posts and I'm getting views because as a content creator, that's how I make my money. <laughs> so if you could do that, that would be really, really great and I'd be super grateful because otherwise I'm going to have to go back to making small rubbish cakes and I don't want to have to do that. So anyway, I made these eyes out of a sugar substitute called Isomalt. So yes, they are edible, although kind of like a gobstopper, so you wouldn't want to shove the whole thing in your mouth at once because they were pretty huge. Then after I'd covered the whole cake in chocolate ganache, I went in with the white chocolate modeling chocolate. The best way to sculpt things like this is to have lots of images all around you from every angle of whatever it is that you are sculpting. So this is exactly what I did. As you can see, I've got that one there behind me. There's another screen on the other side and I had paper copies of exactly what Dobby looks like from all other angles to hand as well. So satisfying popping those eyes in. There's one and there's the other. It does look a little bit strange at the minute, but I think those eyes are really what makes this cake special because they are so big and charismatic and it's part of what we love about Dobby is that he's very, very cute. Some people say scary, I say cute. What do you think, scary or cute? I think he's lovely. <laughs> then I went in and added some more facial details just to give the rough spacing for the face and features before I went in and added lots more detailing. Then I went in and did his hands. Have you ever noticed how big Dobby's hands are in comparison to every other part of his body? Like they were almost the size of my hands and he's only one meter tall. Then of course I had to give him a sock because Dobby is a free elf in my kitchen. Then I went and painted all details using edible food colorings and this is how it came out. I am so in love with him. I really hope other people get to see him because he's probably one of my favorite cakes to date. I know there's loads of Harry Potter fans out there too, so share it with them if you can. I'd be very, very grateful. And yes, there he is. I know Harry Potter's sock was black, but I didn't have a black sock. So I decided I would go with a sports sock because this dog is sport. Can you see the wobble still on him then? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. The cakes we're seeing on social media these days are just incredible. They've come such a long way compared to when I was younger, when everything just looked a little bit cheesy and tacky, or even just plain and simple. And now we're getting life-size statues built out of cake. Anyways, that is all from us here today at the Viral Group. Make sure to submit your videos for a chance to be featured.